loves good morning <clears throat> my camera looks bad happy sunday today is i don't know but it's sunday i am running late it's gonna be fashion on the way to my older sister's church um <clears throat> excuse me my baby nieces are getting baptized today the two youngest so that's where i'm going as you can see my hair is not done i am so tired i stayed up all last night to wash and style my hair and i think it's dry for the most part so i'm about to undo it oh, this camera looks bad i don't know if it looks bad on y'all so it looks bad on my side but um i'm about to undo it now while i drive and i hope hopefully it comes out somewhat cute but yeah i just wanted to pop in start off the vlog and say what's up good morning and i'll see you guys later has done uh, for us in the past things that guarantees that he can and will do similar acts or take on similar functions in our future. Therefore, without God, hope is simply an empty feeling, not supported by any evidence or probability. However, with God and in God's economy, Hope is based on the confidence that is gained from past experience. And as children of God, our hope is based on our faith in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. We know that he will not ever leave us completely alone, even in our worst moments. We know that God will make a way. A songwriter said it best, and I know we wear it out, but let me wear it some more. Uh -huh. My hope is built on what? Nothing, Nothing less is. than Jesus' blood and yeah, righteousness. I dare not what? Trust in the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. And so then, on Christ, the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. That's the hope that we have in God. And so this text today focuses in on Paul's encouraging words to the Romans that they should expect improved right, situations in spite of... <laughs> all right love church was great it was good like they had a star wars theme so right now they're, they're doing a movie series and they did uh was showing parts of row one which i was just gonna watch probably tonight or tomorrow um and tied in with the message and it was really good um i might go back there next Sunday, but you just gotta be on time. You go to that church, y'all. They start at 11 on 11 o'clock, okay? I had to get a kick of thumbnail just now. They start like on time and they get out on time. Like they be out at by 12 o'clock. <laughs> so that is nice. It's very different church though, like believe me. It ain't no hooping and how no amen and then all that. Um, but then we went to Chili's, which it was so my intention to vlog in Chili's, but y'all, I forgot. I'm so tired. I didn't even eat any of my food. And then when I did go to take, I'm like, let me take one bite of the food. I'm so tired. Waited, we waited so long for the food. Like, I couldn't. Why I got the one? I couldn't even. 
I didn't even care about the food. So, so I really wasn't gonna eat anything anyway, but soon I went to go pick up. I was like, let me take a, a little bite of this food. I got a hair on my food, so. They did remake my meal and added something to it, so. Um, I have it boxed up. It'll be dinner for later on, I guess, because I'm tired. When I'm tired, I don't really care about food or none of that. Y'all know I don't feel I'll go get a whole meal and fall asleep right next to it. But um, it is 2.35 now. Oh, let me get this copy right out the background. Um, it's 2.35. I kind of just want to drive around, but that's a long time. Um, my auntie's gospel program is tonight at 5, but the doors open up at 4. And you do need to be there early. Maybe I'll go visit my niece. I'll go visit my niece. Because I don't want to go home, because if I go to bed, <laughs> it's a done deal, because my naps be like four hours long. Like, how long do y'all nap? I used to take like a give me a 20 minute nap you know a little refresher 30 minutes an hour i call myself, myself doing that nine days honey i be waking up four hours later like if i don't set an alarm it's a done deal anyways i just want to check in with you guys i'm so proud of my little hair because i didn't think it was gonna hold up because i didn't put any type of um whole product to it now that i think about it i brought my potent spray in here and i never even sprayed it on my hair i may still spray it because it it's getting a little frizzy, but I don't mind the frizz. It just adds volume. But um, I didn't put any gel in my hair because I don't plan on retwisting my hair. Or anybody got time for this? So I plan on putting this hair right in a wash and go. Sometime tomorrow. Hey, how you doing, Dean? Jeez, please. Uh, let me get off this thing, and I will talk to you guys later.